another thing, this should have been number one on my list, we need to leave it in 2020, is the word females. When did men start calling men men and women females? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're good, hope you're well. Hmm, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020. The year's almost over. Wow, what a weird, but normal, but odd, but boring, but exciting, but sad, but happy, but long, but mad short year it has been. Wow, anything, anything's possible this year, or has been possible and Wow, I hope you guys had a good 2020 despite all the clash mush mush that's been happening this year. And obviously it's that time of the year to discuss, to reflect, to look back. And there are quite a few things that I am ready to leave in 2020. Obviously there's the obvious one, I don't need to say, but God willing, that will end soon. But apart from that, here are a few uh, small but interesting but important but not so important things that I wanna leave in 2020. Let's get into it. But before I start, hit subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I would much appreciate it going into the new year with a bang. Number one, social media. <laughs> I'm not quitting YouTube, I'm not quitting Instagram. I am, there's there's quite a few things. Um, too long to go into this video, but there's a lot of things about social media that we need to leave in 2020. We need to go in with a healthier view of social media, healthier usage of social media. I've actually done a whole video on why social media is toxic, and I will link that. Influencers, no, 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 Jakes, we're not even influencers. Influencer reliance, is that how I should say it? Basically, this pedestal that we put influencers on and this the, the amount that we look up to them. Case in point was during all of the um, Black Lives Matter when it was at its peak, the amount of people that were saying, so-and-so has been very quiet. But this influencer that you follow because they talk about misguided and oh poly and they do makeup reviews why is it that you are looking at that influencer to talk about topics that they have never ever expressed that they are an expert on that they have an opinion on some people have opinions but their opinions are for their private spaces and safe spaces if i had a, a strong opinion on something would i come on social media and say it Maybe not because you man are mean. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But not you guys that, follow, that watch my video. But social media is a mad place. And I've seen so many celebrities, influencers get cancelled this year um, because their opinion on something or their take on something has not been as well worded as their followers would have liked. And I think we need to leave things to the experts um, and don't expect influencers to have your opinion or an opinion on every single matter. Talk to your friends. They're not your friends. That leads me on to a good one, which we must leave in 2020, and that is cancel culture. What even is it? <laughs> Who do you think you are to cancel? You can't just cancel me. If you cancel me, what? I'm like, what? What? Are you God? Anyways, let me not get too deep into it, but we definitely need, definitely, need to leave cancel culture in 2020. It doesn't make any sense. It's very prideful of us to think that um, we are superior or better than someone else for something that they did 10 years ago, two years ago, even yesterday. I could do something yesterday and then today I can decide I don't feel that way anymore and that is okay because people change. So canceling someone, <clears throat> let's leave that in 2020. Um, if you no longer want to support someone because of something they've done that hurt you, do it. But this whole like we need to cancel so and so and then a week later someone else with a louder voice tells you why you shouldn't have cancelled them and now you've forgiven them but forget the mental damage that you've done to that person in cancelling them in that process let's leave it in 2020 it should have never come it should have ne it should have never been here still on the topic of social media gossip pages gossip pages got to go uh we're talking you know i don't i didn't need to list them out but you got it rhymes with hate room and there's about ten thousand of them now um, there's loads of other ones as well. There's YouTube channels all about gossip and it's like, I can't lie. Sometimes I'll be like, what? What he did, he said, who said, she said what? But really and truly they are a bit damaging. They're not credible news sources. So you could be just get, you could just be getting any kind of information. And we already know that lies spread away faster than the truth. Sometimes the truth does come around, but ain't nobody seen it, but a million thousand trillion people have seen the lies or, um, information is leaked that the person isn't privy to like these are real people in real lives and i'm 
I'm not really, I think I've unfollowed them all that I used to follow. Maybe I haven't, I'll see. But I think these gossip pages and accounts and just the whole idea of this gossip thing just needs to kind of, it needs to die. It needs to die. Another thing we need to leave in 2020, these jeans. What is that? That's all I have to say. Another thing, this should have been number one on my list. We need to leave in 2020 is the word females. <laughs> when did this happen? When did this happen? When did men start calling men men and women females? Tell you why I don't like it. There's many reasons. First of all, grammatically, doesn't make any sense, right? Females is not a female is not. It, it's, it's, what's the word I'm looking for? Adjective? Adjective. Is it? No, it's not adjective, but it's like a description. A female what is my question? A fe what? A female? A female what? A female dog? A female bird? A female what? Also, I don't like it because men will argue, oh, but are you not a female? Are you not a female? But they never say male, first of all. They never say, oh yeah, males. They always say females and guaranteed, yeah? A study has shown that I just made up. 99.9% .9 of the time when somebody says females, nothing good comes afterwards. They're not saying females are are so wonderful and great. They're always like, yeah, the problem with females, yeah. That's, that's always their voice and their accent as well, by the way, They're like nine times out of 10, according to my study. We just need to leave it. It doesn't make any sense. It's dehumanizing a female what? A fe I heard someone actually on Clubhouse saying, um, they described it, they, basically the example they gave is that you wouldn't say, you wouldn't call someone a black. Like you wouldn't be like, oh, that black over there. And when people do call people blacks, Nine percent of the time, they're saying something mad and racist or problematic. Same way you wouldn't say black. You don't say. Don't, don't call me a female. <laughs> Leave it in twenty twenty. When did it come? Did it? When did? Anyways, another thing we got to leave in twenty twenty. Comparison. Wow, wow. Well. Talking to myself. So again, maybe I should have tied this in with the social media thing, but I feel like there's been a rise in people comparing themselves to other people. And the problem with that is one, first of all, everybody's different, you're in your own lane. But two, you're comparing yourself to something that's probably not even real. That person probably isn't on 100K. That pro person probably hasn't paid for their own holiday. That person probably doesn't own their house, own their car, have their money in the bank, in the, what, 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 yeah, they don't. So comparison needs to stop because all it does is it breeds, what's the word? Comparison breeds contempt, did I just make that up? If so, I'm a scholar. But yeah, we, we need to leave comparison in the past. We need to understand that you are in your own lane, you are your own person, and majority of the time you're comparing yourself to something that's not real. So you're never gonna be satisfied because you can't get it, because they don't even have it. Broke shaming. Broke shaming, that's another thing that crept in. Has that always been, a, yeah, I guess it has always been about, but it's been heightened. This um, this narrative that like, okay, fair enough, you don't want, if you don't want a broke partner, that's that's your decision. But now when we start moving into, you shouldn't date if you're broke, don't be doing this if you're broke. It's like, wait, hold on. When did we decide that the amount of money you have determines how like happy you can be in your life? How can you, how can you tell me that I can't have love? because I'm broke. Break shaming, that needs to, that needs to be deleted. Caritas, that needs to be deleted. There's so many other things along with broke shaming that happens on, I'm thinking of like the Twitter, social media world, but maybe I, maybe I should do another video on, on, on the, my social media pet peeves. So many things that need to go. Broke shaming is just one of them and that needs to be left, that needs to be kicked back into 2020. What else we leave? TikTok vanity. Now, I'm a fan of TikTok. I know a lot of people don't like it. I'm a fan. The way that you can get famous on there is so fast. If you're an influencer, why are you not on TikTok? Why am I not active on TikTok? Anyways, TikTok is great. What I don't like is TikTok vanity. It makes me, <laughs> it literally makes me like, <laughs> and what I'm talking about is they're usually teenagers, which makes it even worse when I, when I scroll and I'm not, <laughs> they're usually teenagers. They're usually like, conventionally attracted by the world standard, even though I'm like, okay. And they do this thing where they're like almost thirst trapping. First of all, you're a child, please don't thirst trap anyone. But it's just a bit cringe and I really, I mean, they're not harming anyone, I guess, apart from maybe the teens who are going into, you know, depression because they don't look like them. Anyways, but they're usually young, they're usually white, looking a certain way. And 
I just think it needs to be cancelled. They're doing like, mm, mm, mm. they're licking their lips, they're looking at the camera, they're putting on voices. It's like, oh, oh, oh. And celebrity passes. No, I'm not talking about anyone in particular. I just don't know if celebrity and pastor should go in the same sentence. And I'm gonna leave it there. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Those, I mean, I, I'm sure the list would be longer if I really sat down and thought about it, but those are the things that I think we should leave in 2020. Hmm, if I remember anything after I've cut the camera, I'll put it in the comments below. And I'd love you guys to put your um, things that you wanna leave in 2020 in the comments below too. I think I kept it fairly light. There are also a lot of other deeper things that I would like to leave, of course, but <laughs> this is not a therapy session. I need to maybe do another video on that one. But yeah, keep it light or not, whatever. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you're leaving in 2020. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment below, like I just said. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Hit the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram. Do all of that. And I'll see you in my next video. Have an amazing new year. Pray 2021 is bigger and is better. Thank you, God. Love you.